Thank you, Benjamin. Hi, everyone. My name is Adrian Dobrica, and I am Aaron's head of engineering. One of my core roles is architecting the Aaron protocol. This is a set of rules that internet computers, also known as validators and observers, agree to follow, um, and uh, forming thus the Elrond network. We have been developing this since uh, 2018 with a mission of creating a highly performant, high throughput blockchain network that can operate at internet scale. Uh, clicker, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The Aaron Protocol went live in July 2020, and it started as a 1,000 times improvement in terms of performance and efficiency over the existing blockchains at the time. Our lead was impressive, and our opportunities ahead even more so. So we kept doing what we did best, building, innovating, improving. Today, thanks to improvements uh, done to the Aaron protocol, the network is capable of twice as much throughput. This is mainly due to features such as scheduled transactions and partial mini-block execution, uh, which brought a huge uh, improvement to our throughput. So the scheduled transaction uh, is a feature that we've uh, activated this year, and it increase, it increases a lot the throughput of the network by doubling the gas per block and doing so at a very minimum cost to the consensus. We were able to do this by um, using the validator's idle time for extra processing. The partial mini-block execution uh, improves the rate at which we fill the blocks with transactions by changing the constraints we've added on the cross-shard operations from a mini-block, which is a set of transactions, to the transaction. Uh, I've uh, inserted here a graph. Uh, I won't go into details. If you're curious, you can take a picture, and we can discuss it afterwards. So basically, this is how the partial mini-block execution goes. In addition to being more performant, the uh, network has also become much more efficient. At the core of this improvement uh, sits a um, core network component, the heartbeat. Uh, this is responsible for passing along information between uh, validators and about validators and observers and their status, and essentially being um, a very important component for the liveness of the network and also a core component of our network sharding mechanism. The heartbeat redesign uh, brings a substantial decrease of CPU usage and bandwidth for all the nodes in the network, and this enables the entire network to perform much better using the same underlying systems. And I've put here a graph. This is the level of improvement uh, brought by this redesign, and this is um, for all the nodes in the network. So this is average improvement. Um, yeah, now to the next. Faster processing. Now going further, the Aero network is a vast ecosystem of users, smart contracts, and records of trust. We now have more than 2 million accounts in the network. It has processed so far more than 60 million transactions and over 300 million smart contract operations. This all resulted in significantly larger state. This state is the collective data describing the accounts, uh, their balances, uh, the smart contracts, and their data. And this one gets I increasingly larger as we get more users, we get more smart contracts deployed on the network, and as the interactions between these users and the smart contracts uh, increases. And it's becoming increasingly challenging to maintain the access time as minimum as possible, and also to um, make it um, the synchronization of this state, which is required for new nodes, to be as fast as possible. 
We tackle this by redesigning the state uh, sync uh, component and adding also a snapshotting uh, functionality to ease the epoch transitions, which uh, has proven to be one of the pain points. In addition to this, we are right now testing a multi-keynote solution. I, I'm sure this one is interesting for all the validators. Uh, this one will completely remove the need to uh, do the state sync for the validators already running in the system. And we're, we'll continue also with more improvements on this area, uh, state optimizations, uh, cleanup measures, uh, which will result in uh, empty accounts cleanup, uh, and the possibility to archive and restore unused state. We are also working towards uh, transitioning to vertical trees, and we are already working on um, improving the access time to the disk. And here, there's also some measurements of the level of improvement we've uh, uh, achieved in the uh, in the tree sync. Each of these improvements uh, were achieved thanks to careful design and implementation and also uh, diligent uh, internal and community testing. We now have automated testing for uh, functional testing for most of the built-in functions and also for the, uh, for the staking and the delegation contracts. As well as we are now able to replicate the mainnet state in a shadow fork testnet in order to test um, all the updates and upgrades and fixes to the mainnet before actually deploying this to the mainnet. The testing part is especially important for rolling out updates that not only advance this functionality, but also preserve the security and stability of the network. The increase in uh, the rate of um, uh, testing or the speed of testing translates into the increase um, of the iterations on the new features and uh, enables us to uh, iterate faster towards um, other enhancements such as pushing towards 50,000 transactions per second in the current mainnet setup. So continuous protocol optimizations through features such as the scheduled transactions have given us some insights into how we can improve uh, the network even further. In the current configuration, a new block is created every round, so six, uh, around six seconds, and uh, half of this time we can use for transactions execution. But we can dis increase this even further, up to 80%, allowing for even more processing. The next area we are exploring is increasing the number of uh, validators in the shards. As you know, uh, right now we have 63 on the shards, but we plan to increase this to the four, to 400 as we already have in the meta chain. We would essentially use the same model we, which gives us some interesting benefits such as instant finality for the intra shard transactions, overall uh, faster transaction execution for cross shard uh, operations, uh, and also improved network security and resilience. We are also working towards a scenario where the round time, which is six seconds, can be further decreased so we can uh, improve even further the uh, transaction processing. Um, now, these are possible due to other improvements we've uh, done and uh, we're still working on uh, for the consensus and the execution model. Uh, in the way the um, votes in the consensus are being aggregated and which previously uh, took a lot of time. And now we've managed to uh, reduce this to a constant time. And I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate this next one, Guardians for Accounts. Users will soon have a new tool at their disposal to further secure their accounts. This is similar to how two-factor authentication methods work um, and um, how, how will this work is that uh, any transaction originating from a guarded account will be able to have a cosigner, which would be probably one of these services, uh, and uh, it will carry together with the user's signature also this uh, third-party signature, and it will be useful, for example, for people who, have, uh, who had their keys leaked. Um, 
for this to, to make this um, usable uh, for uh, critical time applications, we are working on a service that we want to open source, uh, which will be able to act as co-signer. <laughs> now, in order to meet other specific needs for various blockchain use cases, uh, we will also develop a light client uh, and add support for its requests and data responses on the existing uh, node implementation. This will be useful in a number of scenarios, such as uh, payments, message transfers, where reducing the uh, full client to its minimum set of required functionality will provide an efficiency advantage. We are also planning of adding support for zero-knowledge cryptographic primitives in our crypto library, which, if used, for example, with the light client, uh, will be able to create bridges between chains um, using zero-knowledge proofs. <laughs> yeah, and I saved the best for last, an advanced scaling method for products looking to supercharge their execution components. We are working to make available an SDK on which you could deploy the Aeron protocol in an independent chain. This will be separate from the Aeron mainnet, but uh, natively interoperable with it. Such, <laughs> yeah, such setups will be the perfect execution environments for uh, high-performance DeFi applications, for metaverse applications and other large-scale blockchain implementations, uh, which might need a dedicated environment. Uh, I'm sure that was a lot uh, for you to take in, and I barely scratched the surface. If anything, the key takeaway should be the following. The Aaron protocol started as a 1,000 times improvement over the blockchains at the time. It did a 2x in the meantime, it will do another 2x soon, while increasing efficiency and decreasing the footprint and also allowing for groundbreaking innovations. And we're just getting started. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like to invite now uh, Robert, my colleague from the VM, to tell you about all the imp impressive stuff happening there as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.